Elva de Vaca. Elva de Vaca works endlessly to enforce the basic fundamentals of education with the third graders at Sunset Elementary in San Isidro. She aims to make her class exceed and race to excellence. Very often I see myself in the faces of my students. You have to turn this into I a sentence. I can relate to them. In Espanol? I was just like them. When I entered school, I was an immigrant and I didn't have many English speaking skills. But Ms. Komiak inspired and instilled confidence in me. And I told her that I wanted to be a teacher just like her. And she said, I think you'll make a wonderful teacher. And she looked straight into my eyes. And as I floated back to my desk, it was the greatest feeling I ever had so that I could maybe someday reach the height that she had in my eyes. I was born across the border in Tijuana, Mexico. Tijuana is very close to my school. It is approximately one to two miles that you could walk there if you wanted to. And when you walk outside to the playground, you see the hills of Mexico. Many of my students actually experience uh, severe poverty, and so that is something my children bring to school with them every day. I don't accept the poverty or any of the challenges that my students come with to be obstacles in their learning. There's no reason why they should be held behind because of things that they can't control. Ms. Zabaka is a great role model because she cares greatly about what she does and she transmits that to the students. She gives her students the best of her. I have extremely high standards for my students. I do whatever it takes so that my students feel successful. And they know that it's not allowed to have failure. So don't even try to go there. Any questions? Yes, I know. What is Mars failure? Ms. Zavaka cares about us because she wants us to pass to fourth grade so she can be proud of us. Our students are taught to be biliterate. That means they can read and write in both languages. When it comes to testing, they are tested in both languages at the same level. So we're very proud of the biliteracy program we have at Sunset, and we have tremendous success with it. Our English program is core-based. So at this point, we're studying about the solar system and the role of the moon and how the Earth orbits the sun. Let me get it straight because it's a little confusing. Okay, it said that the sun is the center of the solar system. Okay, so let's 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 move out of the sun's way because she's in the middle. My students are completely blown away when they can see in 3D the solar system or the planets that they've been studying. Our solar system. We're going to travel through our solar system. The theme of our ELD unit is shoot for the stars. And I wanted my students to believe that not only in their science lessons, but in their own lives. Her classes were very dynamic. And so my son improved his confidence. And he learned how to cope more. He's been very successful so far. I made it a point to bring my daughter into her classroom because she's from another school district and I transferred her into this district just because of Ms. DeVaca. I'll consider her a teacher for life because she's always helped me. She encouraged me to go and make my dreams come true. The reason I have my Milken Award on my desk and the reason that I allow my kids to touch it is because I want them to know it's within their grasp, that they can also be recognized as award winners one day. I see them already as award winners, and they need to see themselves in that way. Not only did the Milken Educator Award motivate me, but everybody that saw, it was like an injection of enthusiasm and vitality for our profession. The next day, I had a little girl skip up to me and say, teacher, I saw you last night on TV. So I knelt down and I said, you did? And she says, and you know, I want to be a teacher just like you. So I looked into her eyes, I said, you'll make a wonderful teacher. 
my life has gone full circle. And I just want to thank you for allowing me to give back just a little of what has been given to me.